Hi, I'm Natalia and welcome to Healthy Intent YouTube channel and today's episode is all about gut healthy probiotic drinks and some interesting uses for them. So I gave a TEDx talk, super exciting, it was an amazing journey, it took me about six months to from start to finish to get ready for it. It was absolutely an honor to present my talk titled The Surprising Connection Between Gut and Happiness at TEDx Ocala. I'm filled with gratitude for everyone who made it possible. And I am here to share with you one of the little excerpts from the talk where I suggest drinking probiotic drinks for the health of your gut. So here I am, I have a bunch of stuff on display as you can see, but we are going to start with one of my favorite, absolute favorite gut healthy drinks. Uh, well, actually, maybe I shouldn't be saying that because I don't want the other guys to feel bad about um, me not liking them as much. Anyways, I'm presenting to you the first probiotic drink and it is kombucha. Have you heard of kombucha? It seems to be in stores everywhere now. You can easily find it. If you can brew it yourself at home, that's fantastic. I went to a few breweries up in Maine and it was amazing to test, taste test a bunch of different flavors. So there's lots of variety of flavors available. So kombucha is made by combining a sweetener. So the sweetener is either sugar or honey if kombucha is sweetened with honey, it's called a June kombucha. Otherwise, it's just the regular kombucha. So we're adding sweetener or honey, sugar or honey, to the tea. And the tea brings the high antioxidants level. So it could be black tea, it could be white tea, or it could be green tea. And then there is this scobia, which is this... Um, weird texture <laughs> um, culture of bacteria, which is what creates the process of fermentation for kombucha. Kombucha can be flavored in a many variety of ways. They usually with um, fruit juices or fresh fruits and different herbal infusions as well. There's a ton of different flavors available. Most kombucha has just minimal traces of alcohol in it or it could be made already with alcohol built in and um, while well, tonic is actually one of my personal favorite brands and so this is called hard june kombucha and this one has 5.6 percent alcohol so you can actually get a little buzz going from one or two of these now interesting uses for kombucha all right here we go number one is you can actually have it as a cocktail. Well, like I mentioned, there's already hard kombucha or at our restaurant, Sphix Clam Bar down here in Florida, we serve kombucha on tap and a lot of our customers like to mix kombucha with vodka, making for a really nice cocktail. So we actually have this 221 BC berry hibiscus flavor kombucha, that with vodka, a lot of people love it. Another interesting use for kombucha is you can actually make it into a vinaigrette, into a salad dressing. Uh, so kombucha in itself would be your acid or the vinegar in itself that so you can have some kombucha if you find the flavor that you really like for the salad dressing and and add some olive oil to it and then some whatever seasonings you like fresh herbs and seasonings and make it into a delicious salad dressing with a very refreshing flavor so kombucha supports your digestion and it also like i mentioned because of the teeth and some of the berries, it contains antioxidants, which really helps to reduce inflammation. So another drink that I have displayed here, I have four different types of here, is kefir. Now, interestingly enough, I grew up with kefir in Russia. I drank it almost every day. And it's interesting, when I moved to the United States about 20 years ago now, I haven't seen kefir in stores and it was making me kind of sad like why can't I get my kefir because I was used to it I was drinking it a ton and I like the flavor and I actually grew up with unsweetened flavor so when the kefir started popping up on the store shelves in the last few years as the gut health culture is really developing and integrating in our, into our society the importance of gut health 
I'm, I'm really happy to see all of these products on the store, shelves of stores. So there's different types of kefir. Some kefir is made on, with milk base, uh, regular cow's milk or goat milk. And I've even seen some made with coconut milk kefir. And some kefirs are made with water, so that creates an aqua kefir. Like I mentioned, I like just straight up plain kefir. It has a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a sourness flavor to it, but I love how rich and creamy the drink is. It's amazing. Now, of course, there's different flavored kefirs. I saw some of them have um, vanilla flavor. Some of them have blueberry flavor, strawberry flavor. So if you think of it, it's, it's almost like a thicker yogurt in itself. But I, I personally really, really love it. And if you start thinking about the interesting uses for kefir, let's discuss that for a quick second. Um, you can use kefir in your smoothies to really add some probiotics to your smoothie. You can use kefir in, as a plain kefir I would use as a marinade for the chicken. It comes out amazing. So just like kefir and garlic chicken is amazing. Really good. I don't, maybe I, is this the kind of recipe video? Maybe I will, will do, we'll film this up in the, in the upcoming videos for you this year. Uh, and another interesting way to use kefir is uh, again, as a creamy salad dressing or a dip for your veggies super super good kefir based dip you can even use add some kefir to hummus just to create that really interesting flavor creamy dip for your veggies so those are the uses for kefir and now we're going to move on to kvass so it's super interesting for me to see these drinks that i grew up drinking as, as a girl growing up in russia that are now becoming so popular in, in multiple cultures and especially in this country. And so kvass is also a fermented drink. It's usually made with water and some sort of sweetener. And I remember my aunt was making it and she would put bread um, in there as well as a, as a soda culture. So there's different types of kvass. There is, um, you know, it's interesting, when my, when my husband first tried kvass, he said that it really reminded him the flavor of the root beer. So if you have a Russian store somewhere near you, if you have any Russian friends, um, I would recommend going in and trying kvass because it's, it's, it's a very interesting flavor. I really like it growing up with it, so just accustomed to it. And as an as a interesting use for kvass, I remember spending summers in the country with my grandma and we would make this salad of hard boiled eggs and boiled potatoes and dill and radishes and we would chop everything up into the salad and then we would pour kvass over that and we would have it as this end of summer soup so just the the thought of it it's making my mouth water oh my gosh bringing in some really fun childhood memories so these are some of the highlighted probiotic drink, drinks that are healthy for your gut. Um, the, there, this, the, vari the variety on the market is huge right now that's available. I would be super curious what are your favorite gut healthy probiotic drinks. If you can leave me a comment below and if you have some interesting uh, uses that you could recommend to myself and to our community of health warriors yay even though i'm not much of a warrior in fact um i was in maui last year and i went to this labyrinth and i sort of received this most beautiful message that don't fight for peace be the peace so i'm not gonna be the warrior i'm not gonna worry i'm not gonna fight for anything i'm just gonna spread the love and spread the joy and spread the peace and hopefully you can spread the love back to me and share these videos and give some love to the channel subscribe and tell all of your friends about everything that you're learning at healthy in 10 youtube channel thank you so much for watching and i invite you to live a deliciously healthy life